is there anyone who wants to speak on any of these three articles? One in particular, Norm, or are you taking the whole set? I'm taking the whole set. Thank you. Norman Silverick, 75 Mill Road, spokesman for the rational taxpayers of Hampton. I recognize that the unions need an increase, no question about it. However, this increase seems to me way out of order. I received a, a uh, letter from the Social Security Administration. I see some of the members of the Budget Committee are also retirees like myself. The Social Security Administration told me I wasn't going to get any increase in 2016 but uh, in the amount of income I get but they sure increased my medical expenses which went up about 35 percent and I'm sure that's true with anybody else who's on fixed income and in the past we passed in 2014 contracts that gave a 1.25 percent increase to the unions and suddenly we're dealing with two and a half three percent increases for the next three years I think that's way out of line with the cost of living, which is running about 1%. And it should be reflective of what is reasonable for people to expect in the way of wage increases. This agreement are totally insensitive to the taxpayers, and I would really be surprised if they were passed. I ask that the Budget Committee reconsider these three articles and re-examine their vote. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Silver. Madam Chair, procedural question. Yes, Are you taking motions to reconsider after we're done with all the articles or as they occur? Yes, as they are. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, moving on to Article 17. Or actually, was there anyone else who wanted to speak to this to CBAs? No? All right, seeing none, moving on.